yung ating constitution are meant not only to raise the vision of our society that it's not merely the restoration of uh, democracy but a new social order. But the main uh, compelling principles of the Constitution are number one, social justice, the heart of the Constitution. Number two, never again to any authoritarianism. That is why maraming provision dyan against too much power on the executive. And number three, the economy must be firmly and fully under Filipinos themselves. Ano ba yung social justice? to address not only mass poverty but inequalities in our country and anong means what are the means to do that right education health tapos asset reform program agrarian reform urban land reform and housing fisheries and ancestral domain and i'm i'm sorry to say that every administration after edsa has not fulfilled that promise of a new social order. Yan ang inaasahan ng ating mahihirap na kababayan na kasi through two colonial periods, through a dictatorship, 35 years na nagaantay sila. Ay, hindi pa natin sinusolve not only mass poverty. Ang importante din ay yung inequality. Anong inequality? Social, economic, and political inequality. The Constitution is not to blame. What is to blame is every administration, especially Congress, that have not passed the social justice provisions and total and funded them correctly. Yung mga amendments sa Constitution, it's all about power and it's all about money. Yan ba para sa mga kababayan natin? mag ba yung social order natin? Hanggang ngayon, hindi nila pinapas ang anti-dynasty law. At kung sincere kayo about real change, bakit hindi yung yung four degrees para walang abuso na ang mga parang politicians? 35 years hindi kayo nagpas ng anti-dynast. No, pass one now to apply to the barangay elections. And let's see your sincerity. Hindi. Anong kanilang mamadaliin? Charter change. The first step is to dismantle political dynasties. And that may be against your interest but that's in the interest of the Filipino people.